hello everyone welcome back to this channel in today's video we are going to solve a question under particle acceleration vorticity and rotationality and there's the question i have on the board here and it reads the velocity field associated with a flu a fluid flow is given by u which is equal to 10 y squared z which is equal to 10 x y and w or omega which is equal to zero and we are to find the acceleration the angular velocity the vorticity of the vector at the point one negative one two so before we start with our solution we are going to put out some assumptions and the assumptions would have to put up is we have um, our coordinates here and we can see that this is in the x and y coordinate because the the third side that's the omega or the w is zero so we can assume that it's in the x and y plane So um, before we start, we'll start solving for the, our acceleration or our particle acceleration. And for our particle acceleration, we have the formula to be resolving it in the um, coordinate system. We have the x coordinate. We have it to be delta u over delta t plus u delta u over delta x plus v delta u over delta y plus w delta u over delta Z. So we are going to find our equation or we are going to find our coordinate. So let's first find for our delta u over delta t. And we can also assume that this is going to be a steady flow. So if it's a steady flow process, this is going to be zero, constant time. So it's going to be zero. Then now we have our u, we've been given our u to be 10y squared. But we have to find for our d, du dx. So our du dx is going to be equal to zero. If we try to differentiate this with respect to x, it's going to give us zero. And finding for our du dy, du dy is going to be it's going to give us 20y so we've gotten our du dy we know our v here that's 10xy for the omega or the, the w is going to give us everything is going to be zero because we assumed it to be xy plane and also it's zero here so it cancels out so we just do it the two here so continuing the computation we have ax to be equal to u delta u dx plus v delta u dy we are going to get this to be equal to our u is 10 y squared multiplied by our delta u dx is going to be zero so plus the v we have our v to be 10 x y multiplied by 20 y here so this is going to give us a x is going to give us 200 x y squared but uh, 
the third way should um, at the point one, negative one, two. So wherever you see X, you put one there. Wherever you see Y, you put negative one there. So that was okay. We are going to get our X part to be equal to 200 multiplied by one, multiplied by negative one squared. So our AX is going to give us 200. So now we find for our AY. Our AY is going to give us this. dv dy plus omega or w dv dz so this since we know that this is going to give us zero this is also going to give us zero we just tackle this here so we find for our delta or dv dx so dv dx we differentiate this with respect to x we are going to get dx you are going to get 10y and when we differentiate this with respect to y we are also going to get Ten x. So we put them into the equation. So a y is equal to for the u side. So we have ten y squared multiplied by ten y plus the v side as ten x y multiplied by ten x. So this is going to give us 10y cubed plus 10x squared y. So we, okay, so sorry guys, 10y squared times 10y is going to give us 100y cubed. Yeah, so now in order to get our acceleration in the y direction we will have to input the points that we have here so we have 10 into brackets negative 1 q plus 10 multiplied by 1 squared multiplied by negative 1 so this is going to give us negative 100 minus 10. So that's going to give us minus 110. So the AY is going to give us minus 110. So now we can put or resolve them in coordinates. So we have our acceleration to be equal to the X component, so 200 comma negative 110 comma zero. So that's how you go about the acceleration question. We move on to the next one, which is our angular velocity. And our angular velocity is the same as our rate of rotation. And our rate of rotation, we are going to get Our rate of rotation, since we, we assumed a steady state and also a two-dimensional 
flow or it's in a 2D model, we are going to get our omega to be equal to half multiplied by dv dx minus du dy in the k direction. Since this is zero, we are going to get it in the k direction. And we just need to differentiate this with, which we, we, are, we just need to differentiate the u with respect to y and the v with respect to x. So differentiating the u, the v first with respect to x, we are going to get 10 y minus differentiating this with respect to y, we are going to get 20y. So um, this computation is going to give us half minus 10y in the k direction. So this will further give us minus 5y in the k direction. So we now can be with our point C. So we have omega is equal to minus five into brackets minus one in the k direction. So this will give us five in the k direction. In other words, we can write this as zero zero five. So this is the angular velocity or the rate of rotation. Yeah. So we move on to the the last one, which is somehow as associated with the angular velocity. So, so finally for our velocity. Our vorticity is equal to two times the omega or two times the angular velocity. And we had our angular velocity to be five k, right? So this is going to be two multiplied by five the k direction. So this is going to give us 10 k or in the coordinate system 0, 0, 10. So this is how to go about this question. Thank you very much.